In today's video, we're going to work on comparing numbers, specifically within the thousands place. So we're going to do this by using the um, place value chart and also base 10 blocks. So we're going to think about a problem here of I have a group of 345 pens and a group of 380 pens. How can we use the place value blocks or the base 10 blocks and a place value chart to find which group has more? So we're going to go in and um, use our virtual manipulatives. And we're going to build this. So you could do it with your um, actual base 10 blocks or drawing a picture as well on like a whiteboard. Um, but I'm going to do this virtual manipulatives because that works well for me. So first I'm going to look at my two numbers. I have 345 and 380. And I'm going to build those using the base 10 blocks. So I'm going to always start with my largest value, which is the hundreds place in this case. So I have three hundreds. One, two, three. Then I have four tens. One, two, three, four. And I have five ones. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I have 345 here. Then I'm going to make 380. So starting in my greatest value, which is the hundreds place, three hundreds, one, two, three, move those so I can see a little better, and 80, eight tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you need to, pause the video now and either open this up in a new browser or, or a new window, or um, do this on a whiteboard or your own manipulative. So building 345 and 380. Now looking at these, um, I can look at the different blocks that are out to help compare. And so again, I'm going to always start with the largest place value, um, which is going to be in this case, the hundreds place. So looking, I have three hundreds on this number for 345 and I have three hundreds for 380. So those are the same right now. Those are equal. Then I'm going to move over to the right to the next lowest place value, which in this case would be the tens. So in this number, I have four tens or 40. And then in this number, I have eight tens or 80. So looking at that, I can see that there are more tens in this number than this number. So if my hundreds are the same and 380 has more tens, than 345, then the whole number is larger. So I know that 380 would be a greater number, has more value. If I'm looking at using a place value chart, this can be very helpful as well. So I'm gonna put those numbers in, and you can really start from either side in the place value chart. So if I wanna start at the ones or the lowest number, I have five ones, four tens, and 300s. If it's easier to think the other way, you can also do it the other way, starting at the hundreds, just as long as you know where that, um, where to put that place value and know that that's hundreds. So I have 300 for my other number, eight tens, and zero ones. So looking at these within the place value chart, again, I'm going to start over at the left with the largest place value in my numbers. In this case, both of them, it's the hundreds place. I can see that they both have a three in the hundreds place, so that's the same. Then I'm going to move to the right, looking at the next place value, which is the tens. So up here we have four tens, and we have eight tens down here. So I know that eight tens is bigger than four tens, so 380 is going to be larger. So when I'm comparing these numbers, if I'm going to write something and represent that, I'm going to have to use some symbols that look like this. Now hopefully that's a review for you um, that you've learned in years past. But as a reminder, then you are going to have, this is the greater than symbol, this is the less than symbol, and then of course we're familiar with the equal symbol or the same as symbol. 
Now, sometimes we get confused with which way these symbols go, the greater than and less than. So I like to think of it as the, the bigger part is open up to the bigger number or the larger number. And the smaller part points to or is next to the smaller number. So greater than, the bigger number would be over here to the left. And the smaller number would be to the right. Less than, the smaller number would be to the left. And the bigger number would be to the right, okay? So in this specific example, if I'm looking at these and I have it, if this is the order that the numbers were given to me, I could write 345, since it's the smaller number, I'm gonna have my less than symbol with the smaller side pointing to the smaller number, 380. I could also write this the other way and start with a larger number of 380. If I did that though, I'm gonna to have to flip my symbol and it will be the greater than symbol. So I would read that 380 is greater than 345. So either way would work, just as long as you have those symbols pointing the right direction. Let's try another example. This time I want you to pause the video and try it on your own first, and then you can play it again when you have all of your things set out and you've solved and you can check it. So looking at this one, I have 1,462 and 1,384. So first I'm going to build them with my base 10 blocks. So 1,462, I have 1,000. I have four hundreds. That's a little hard to see. I have six tens. and I have two ones. So again, you should have this built or you should be building it with me so that we can check it together. The next one is 1,384. If you need to pause and do your building first, then please do that. 1,000, 300s, eight tens, There's eight, and then four ones. So think about on yours, which one would be the larger number or the greater number? We're gonna circle that one. So looking at mine, I'm gonna start at the thousands place because I'm always gonna start at the largest value. So one thousands. Those are the same on both of these. Both of them have 1,000 in the thousands place. So we need to move to the right into the hundreds place. So up here I have 400 and this is 300. So I don't have to go any further looking at the tens because I see that four is a greater number than three. So four hundreds is bigger than three hundreds. No matter how many tens I have over here, the three is going to be smaller than the four. So I can tell that 1,462 is going to be the greater number, the larger number. Looking at it using a place value mat, again, pause and on a place value mat for you, I want you to write it within here and circle which one is larger. So now that you have yours, let's start. We had 1,462, 1, so that's 1,462, 1,400s, 1, 6 tens, and two ones. And then I have 1,384. So if I want to start over at the ones, I can. There's four ones, eight tens, three hundreds, and 1,000. So this makes it easy for me to compare down. I'm always going to start as I'm comparing numbers over to the left with the greatest place value. So I have one in the thousands place. Those are the same. That doesn't help me right now. Moving to the hundreds, 
I have a four and a three. I know that four is larger, so this is going to be the larger number. As I write that, it should be 1,462 is greater than, larger side opening up to the larger number, 1,384. I could also write it the other way, 1,384 is less than 1,462. So notice when I switch them, the big side is still over to the bigger number and the smaller side is still towards the smaller number. I have one more set of numbers that I want you to do. So I'm going to have you pause the video and I want you to complete it both using the base 10 blocks and the um, place value mat and writing that number sentence to show which way the symbol would go comparing these two numbers. When you're ready, you can press play and check it against mine. Now that you've completed it on your own, let's take a look at mine. So I've already built them here. I have 2,131, 2,000, 100, 3 tens, and 1 1. Then I have 1,253, 1,000, 200, 5 tens, and 3 ones. So looking at mine, we'll start at the thousands place of the larger one. And I see already that this has two thousands, this has 1,000. So this would be the largest number. Then if I use a place value mat, again I write the numbers in using the different place values, and I start over at the left. And this one makes it easy for me that I have it on my own here. The two is larger than the one, so I know that 2,131 would be the bigger number. Sometimes you're gonna have to go all the way through to the ones and just pay careful attention. So it could be written 2,000 131 is greater than 1,253, or it could be written 1,253 is less than 1,000, oops, I'm sorry, is less than 2,131 could be written either way. So using these two tools should make it pretty easy for you to be able to um, compare those numbers um, all the way through.